Welcome to Artmobile, Bucks County Community College's Traveling Art Museum. Artmobile's latest exhibition, Marvelous Machines, explores contemporary kinetic sculpture through the lens of the six simple machines. Inside, our Artmobile educator will guide you to learn about the machines and the art. After this video, you can discover more about the exhibit and create art projects by visiting Artmobile's website, bucks.edu slash artmobile. For now, let's go inside and take a look. Hello, welcome to Artmobile. In our last video, you looked at a kinetic sculpture by Jennifer Townley, where she lifted up a tray by moving the energy through her sculpture one year at a time. Today, I would like to show you chain reaction machines that another artist was able to dream of. Let's take a look. Have you ever watched how dominoes can be set up in fun designs and then knocked over one domino at a time? It all starts with a simple tapping of the first domino in the chain. That initial burst of energy puts the entire chain reaction into motion. The first domino knocks over the second, and then the second falls over and knocks over the third, and so on and so on, until the very last domino in the chain falls over. Rube Goldberg is famous for his illustrations or cartoons of chain reaction machines. Here's a good one. It's named the self-operating napkin. Let's observe and evaluate. Do you see that funny looking man? That's Professor Butts. Hello. He is Rube Goldberg's imaginary cartoon character. Rube pretends that Professor Butts invents all of Rube's chain reaction machines. In today's cartoon, it looks like Professor Butts is wearing a metal space hat and he seems to be really enjoying his suit. I also see lots of unusual items connected to each other completely surrounding him at the table. Okay, let's get this machine moving. I'm going to guess that this chain reaction will start with the letter A. Every time the professor lifts spoon A to take a sip of his tasty soup, it tugs the string B through the loop, pulling on the end of spoon C that's resting on an arm. Ah, I can see the arm will work just like a lever and a fulcrum. And that's because the arm makes the spoon tilt up and down, up and down, just like a seesaw. And when that happens, the spoon flips up the cracker high into the air like a catapult, right up in front of the hungry bird E. Now the question is, what do you think will happen when the hungry bird sees the cracker and he jumps up in flight up off of the seesaw? Uh-huh, that's right. I have a feeling that bowl G will tip over, spilling all of its water into the bucket. Now what do you think will happen? Remember, this machine is called the self-operating napkin. I wonder, do you think the energy will ever get to the napkin? How? Well, I can imagine the energy in Rube's machine will continue to bump tap and tug itself all the way through the pulleys, the matchbox, the firecracker, and cut the string until the energy frees the napkin attached to the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, back and forth, finally cleaning the professor of any spilled soup. Wow, that's an awful lot of steps just to wipe the professor's chin. This self-operating napkin machine sure is complicated. And have you ever watched a machine use spoons, buckets, and firecrackers? Not me. This self-operating napkin machine is also very silly. Okay, well, let's evaluate another machine illustration or schematic cartoon that Rube created. This one's called the Labor Saving Auto Jack. That sounds useful. Upon inspection though, I'm noticing that in order for me to build this machine, I will first need to collect an elephant, a peanut shooting cannon, and a lever with a silly looking clown hand on the end. Do you have a spare elephant I can borrow to build this machine? How about a bag of peanuts? What a circus this is turning out to be. What do you think would happen if we tried to drive around town with a huge elephant on top of our car? I think our car would be smushed flat like a pancake. The more I study and imagine the design for the labor-saving auto jack, the more I'm convinced this machine would never work. This labor-saving auto jack machine is ridiculous. But you know what? That's okay, because Rube Goldberg never actually built his machines. They were only ever machines of the mind. He loved to dream up and draw overcomplicated chain reaction machines using all sorts of silly objects that were meant to accomplish one simple task just for fun. I wonder what interesting chain reaction machines that you can dream of. 
To help you get started, take a look at how I discovered how easy it is to put together a few everyday objects. I was able to build a lever and a fulcrum, an inclined plane or ramp, and a wheel and axle. And once I started playing around with putting my homemade simple machines together, that is when I started having the most fun. Thanks, Rube Goldberg. You inspire us. You showed us that with a little imagination, we too can put together everyday objects to create kinetic sculptures that accomplish one simple task just for fun. I hope you build one too. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.